Before we can carry out some of the more advanced analyses in Hydromax, we need to have some tanks and compartments defined. We have a number of different options. We can define tanks with fluids, empty compartments, and non-buoyant volumes, which are permanently flooded spaces. Examples of that would be bow thrusters, moon pools, and jet ducts. If we have tanks which are completely contained inside a compartment, the tank volume will automatically be deducted from the compartment. Tanks and compartments can be linked together. This is useful for situations where a number of simple shapes can be combined to form the overall tank shape. So they can be linked together to be treated as a single volume. We have a number of different shape options. Rectangular tanks and compartments can be defined just by entering the coordinates of the boundary box. More complex shapes can be defined using surfaces in MaxSurf. Let's switch over to Hydromax and take a look at this in action. So here we have a very simple model with a couple of tanks and compartments and we can switch over to the compartment definition window to see how they're defined. Each tank has a name, its type here, tank or compartment. Uh, for a tank we define the permeability and we can also define the fluid in the tank. We have a library of fluids defined in Hydromax, so there's a number of standard fluids with their specific gravities predefined and you can also customize this library with your own fluids. Uh, the different fluids have a different color coding system to enable you to more easily manage them. If the geometry is simple, a basic rectangular shape, then we can enter the six uh, coordinates which define the boundaries of the tank, the forward, aft, top, bottom, uh, port and starboard coordinates. I'm going to select this coordinate here and just adjust it slightly and uh, if I edit that coordinate then if we go to the body plan view we can see the tank that I've just edited is reset back to its overall rectangular shape. If I then use the form compartments command it's then automatically trimmed off to the whole boundary uh, to give us the shape that we require. Notice uh, also the yellow lines here, they are sounding pipes that are automatically generated. You can also customize those sounding pipes. If we switch to a 3D view, you'll see that we can select any tank or compartment. And our property sheet on the left hand side here is a very quick way to both review and modify the properties of our compartment. That includes both the fluid properties as well as the coordinates. For the more complex shapes, if we go back to our compartment definition, we can see that some of the uh, compartments can be defined using boundary surfaces. So if we open up that definition, what we can see is that internal surfaces defined in MaxSurf can be used as the boundary for the tank. One thing you should note is that uh, the last surfaces in this list with the P suffix, they're on the port side of the vessel, the other ones are on the starboard side. In MaxSurf these surfaces are usually automatically symmetrical, but uh, because healing and trimming of the vessel can result in asymmetry, then we have to uh, use both sides, separate surfaces for both sides. So be careful which ones you select. When you select the surfaces, they must form a completely closed boundary when you form a section through the tank. So back to our 3D view, we can see our tanks and compartments there. We can also turn on non-buoyant volumes. This uh, particular vessel has a non-buoyant volume for its bow thruster. That completes our introduction to tanks and compartments. Thank you for watching.